Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install MySQL Server on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to open your favorite browser and search for MySQL. And the first link which will appear here will be from mysql.com. So we are going to click on this link, which is going to open this kind of uh, web page. Now in here, we need to click on the downloads tab. So I'm going to click on downloads tab. And then when I scroll down a little, I will be able to see this link, which says MySQL community downloads. So I'm going to click on this link. And here you will see different tools which are available for the MySQL community downloads. We want to download the MySQL community server. So just click on this link which says MySQL community server and here we can download the MySQL community server for Mac OS. So this website is going to recognize automatically your operating system. So you can see uh, Mac OS is automatically selected for us. The latest version is also selected for us for MySQL community server. Now here I can see a few different versions of Mac OS. So I can see uh, Mac OS 13 ARM 64 and I also see Mac OS 13 x86. So if you are using the M1 or M2 version of Mac, you need to select the first option. If you are using Intel processor in your Mac, then you can choose the second option. I have the MacBook with M2 chip, so I'm going to select the first version. So I'm going to click on the first download link, which is this download button. And then this website is going to encourage us to sign up into this website with the Oracle web account. But if you don't want to do this, click on this link, which says no thanks, just start my download, which is going to start the download of this DMG file. So it's around 567 megabyte. And once this DMG file is downloaded, we are going to click on this DMG file, which is going to open this DMG file. So let me minimize the browser here. And to start the installation process, you just need to click on this .pkg file. So I'm going to click on this .pkg file, which is going to start the installation of MySQL. So let me minimize this window also. Now for the first time when you uh, start the installation of MySQL community server, it says this package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed. So I'm going to click on allow here. And now the installer has been started. So here you can see the introduction of MySQL. I'm going to click on continue here. These are the license terms and conditions. So if you want to read these license terms and conditions, just read them and then click on continue and then click on agree button and then you have the installation type so here i can see standard install on macintosh hd this will take around 823 megabytes so i'm okay with this if you want you can change the location of the installation for the mysql community server but if you don't have the good reason to change it just leave it as default and click on install which is going to ask you for your MacBook's password. So just provide the password which you use to log into your MacBook and then click on install software and it's going to start the installation of this software. Now in between, you will be able to see uh, this kind of window for the configuration. Here it says use strong password in encryption. Also, you have the option to choose the legacy password encryption. We are going to choose the strong uh, password encryption and then click on next. And then you need to provide a strong password. Here you can also see the hint for that password. A reasonable password consists of at least eight characters that are mixed of letter numbers and other characters. So let me provide the password. And also uh, you have this option which says Start MySQL server once the installation is complete. So just leave it as checked and then click on finish here, which is going to once again ask you for your MacBook's password. So just provide the password of uh, your MacBook, which you use to log into your Mac operating system. And then it's going to finish the configuration. And once the installation of MySQL server is finished, 
you will see this kind of message which says installation was completed successfully. So once that's done, we can close this window and then I can click on move to bin because we don't need uh, this installer anymore. And once that's moved to bin, we can now open the MySQL server. So MySQL server is already started to verify this. You can click on the system settings icon on the dock or you can click on uh, the Apple logo here and then click on system settings which is also going to open this kind of window. When you scroll at the very bottom here, you will see a new section with the name MySQL which is created here. So just click on this uh, MySQL section and here you will be able to see the status of your MySQL server instance. You can also stop your MySQL server from here and you can also uncheck this checkbox. So by default, when you start your MacBook, your MySQL server is going to start automatically. If you want to stop that behavior, you can uncheck this checkbox also. In future, if you want to uninstall MySQL, you can click on this uninstall button, which is going to uninstall MySQL. One more thing here is the configuration section. So you can see all the uh, path for your uh, MySQL installation here. So you have the base directory, which is installed in user local MySQL. You also have the data directory. So this is where your data will be saved for your MySQL. You have the plugin directory, key ring directory and other files. Right. So if you want uh, to view uh, any of uh, these configurations, you can uh, change those configuration also or view them also. Right. Now, once everything is working fine, we can uh, minimize this window. And now let's try to connect to our MySQL server using the command line. So just click on the spotlight here and then just type terminal and then open the terminal and just write this command there, which is MySQL space hyphen U space root space hyphen P and then press enter. And most probably it's going to give you this kind of error, which says ZSH command not found. And this is because we haven't set the path of MySQL binary directory in our ZSHRC file. So when you open a terminal, you are in the home folder of your Mac operating system. So when you do, for example, ls space hyphen al here, it's going to list out all the files and uh, folders in the home folder. You will be able to see this kind of uh, file there also, which is called .zshrc. If you don't see this file, you can create this file by giving this command. So let me clear the terminal and then you can create this file by using the touch command. So just write touch dot zshrc and when you press enter it's going to create this file so if you don't see dot zshrc in your home folder you need to create one once dot zshrc file is created you need to open it you can open it using a utility called nano you can also open it uh, using the utility called text editor which is the graphical editor on macbook so for that you can give this command which is open space dot zshrc i'm going to press enter which is going to open this dot zshrc file now here i already have few exports which are related to different other tools here i need to add the path of the mysql also so what you need to do is you need to add this uh, command in your dot zshrc so let me copy this command from here I'm going to put this command in the description of this video also. This command is export space path is equal to dollar in the curly bracket path, then colon forward slash user forward slash local forward slash mysql forward slash bin. Now, in your case, you might need to change this path a little depending on the path of the mysql bin directory. Now, 
to be sure where this bin directory is located, you can click on the spotlight option and then just type forward slash USR here. And it's going to show you this uh, output under folder. So you need to open the user directory, right? So just click on user folder, which is USR. And let's open it in other view. And here under use USR, you will see this local folder. So click on local here. So here you will be able to see the MySQL folder. So I'm going to select this uh, option, which is uh, MySQL 8.2.0. In your case, it can be different. And then select bin folder here. And then right click on this folder. So if you don't see the option to copy the path name, then first of all, click on view on the finder and then show path bar. Okay, so just click on show path bar here, which is going to show you the path bar of the selected folder. So here, once again, just right click on this bin folder, which is shown in the path bar, and then click on this option, which is copy bin as path name, I'm going to copy this path. And instead of this path, I'm going to replace the path with the path which I have copied, which is this one. Once you are done, just save this file. So file and save. And once this file is saved, I'm going to close this file. And once this uh, file is uh, closed, we need to reload the .zshrc in the current terminal. So for that, you need to write source space .zshrc, which is going to reload your path in the .zshrc. Once that's done, we are going to once again give this command, which is mysql space hyphen u space root space hyphen p, press enter. And this time it's going to ask you for your mysql password. This is the password which you have set at the time of installation of mysql. So let me give that password and then press enter. And now I'm into the mysql client and I'm connected to my mysql server using this MySQL client, right? So now I can uh, give show databases command here and then end with semicolon. And it says syntax error because I should use show databases, not show database. And it's going to show me all the databases. Now if I want to create a new database, I can uh, give this command, which is create database and then your database name, which is demo, for example. So when I press enter, it's going to create a new database. And then once again, when I give show databases command, it's going to show me the new database also in this list. So now everything is working fine using the MySQL client. So this is how you can download and install MySQL on your Mac operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.